know this video is very much delayed, but um, I've been kind of busy, so <laughs> that's why I haven't made a video in like a month. Um, but Black Friday was amazing for me. I started my Black Friday on Thursday at 10 o'clock when I went to Walmart, and I shoved people to get my brother a PlayStation 3 game. Um, I ordered a lot of stuff online, so um, basically the only things I got in stores is I went to Walmart and I went to Target. Those are the only two stores I went to where I actually got things. So yeah, let's get started with the video. I also have a few other things i gotten recently. So this is an all from Black Friday. Um, okay, so the first thing I got on Black Friday is I got three of the Gilly Hicks scents. And there's no Gilly Hicks near me. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no Gilly Hicks in my state. I don't know. Uh, so the only time I've ever been to Gilly Hicks is when I went to Minnesota and I went to Mall of America and I discovered a scent there that I absolutely love and that scent is called Beach Lily and I actually did get the spray for it and I do have the lotion for it. Um, I have the full size and I have the mini one because I'm absolutely in love with this scent. It smells amazing. Um, a lot of people would describe it as like smelling like bananas and it does kind of smell like bananas but it smells like really really light and really really fresh. Like it's a mixture between like um, sea Island cotton and like bananas like it's so light it's so gentle it's so fresh and I really really like it and this was only like 360 like that's amazing these are usually like um, either eight or like twelve dollars a piece and then the next one I got is blue Camden and I also do have this one in the beach scent or not in the beach scent I have this one in the lotion um, and then the last one I got is Cala bluff and this one I'm not a huge fan of like the other day um, I put some of this on it kind of smells like strawberries um i put some of this on and i started to get really like nauseated <laughs> because it's like kind of strong for like a body mist the next thing i got is um some makeup brushes okay so i ordered from coastal scents and sigma sigma on black friday was having free shipping and that's really really good because i hate paying for shipping that's one of the things i always tweet about i'm like Okay, there's a good deal on this website, but I hate to pay shipping, so I usually don't end up getting it because I hate paying shipping. But it was free shipping on Sigma, so I decided to purchase two brushes I've been really, really wanting. And then also on Coastal Sims, they were having 50% off, so I got a few brushes from there. Um, whenever you spend over 35 or over $30, they send you like a little complimentary gift. So they sent me the Sigma um, blending brush, and this is the E25. Um, so I haven't used this yet. I haven't used any of the brushes because I've been waiting to show you guys the in this haul video so That was nice of them and then the two brushes I got is I got one that I've been wanting for like forever And this is the Sigma flat top synthetic kabuki the f80 brush um, This brush is talked about so much when it comes to Sigma um, Because people use this for their foundation and I really need a new foundation brush. I use my elf laptop kabuki which is great but i think this, this one will work a lot better and it just looks like this um and the reason i haven't used my elf one in a while because i need to wash it and i hate washing brushes because i smell weird afterwards large powder brush the f30 and the reason i want this is because this is just a great all over um powder brush you can use this to apply maybe blush if you wanted to but i'm just going to be using it for like powder as in like pressed powder and like um, my mineralized skin finish powder because I use that every day. And this will be great because it really covers up well and it's really soft. Both of, both of these brushes are really, really soft. I'm not sure how much these were each, but I think in total I paid $35 for both of them. Um, but I'll link everything down below, um, the website and how much I paid for each of these. Another flat top kabuki from Coastal Scents. And the reason I got this is because I kind of wanted to compare them. Um, compare these two, the Sigma one to the Coastal Scents one. If I get like five likes, then I'll do a video specifically um towards these brushes but um they look kind of the same so if you guys want to see a review on that i'll definitely do one um it'll be a couple of weeks though because i haven't actually ha had the chance to use them but um they look similar like i just said like a dozen times i'm not impressed at all with them this one specifically this one is the c218 blending fluff brush i'm not a huge fan of this this is a cheap brush it sheds a lot and it has like no control it's so flimsy um, I feel like you can get this at the dollar store, so I'm not a fan of that at all. This one I do actually kind of like a little bit. It's something different because it's synthetic bristles. Um, this has a little bit, like this one's kind of dense. I think this will work really well for patting on powder. So this one is one that I do like. As for the other one, I'll probably end up throwing that one away. So those are all the brushes I got from Black Friday. Uh, like I already mentioned, I went to Walmart like on Thursday night at like 10 o'clock and I got my brother a game for his PlayStation. So he should be really happy to get that on Sunday when he un 
Gravel's his gift. But I also got, um, or like a tart warmer. And this one is made by the brand Scent Stationals. And I guess that's just kind of like the Walmart brand. I really, really like this um, because I've been wanting to get one of these for a long, long time. And the one I've been really interested in purchasing is the Scentsy Warmer because that's talked about so much on YouTube. But it's kind of expensive. And this one I only paid like $10 for. And that's an amazing deal. So it came with sizzling cinnamon and vanilla bean. Um, and then this is what it looks like. It's in the pottery white lace. Um, it's just a white kind of cream color. I think this will look really good in my room. Also on Black Friday, I did get a bed. Like I got a bed. I already have a mattress and stuff, but I got like a bed. And that doesn't come to like January, so I'm really, really excited to start filming my videos in my room. And then you guys can see my bed and stuff. I also ordered a comforter. Two of the little tart things you can get. So this one I got right here is vanilla sugar cookie, and this smells really, really, really good. Like, this is awesome. This is probably the first one I'll use when I plug in my little tart warmer, because I would love to have my room smelling like this. No joke. And then the next one I got, this one is in uh, Cafe Alop, and this is just coffee. And I kind of like the smell of coffee, but I don't drink coffee. Like, the only, the closest thing I'll get to coffee is, like, a Frappuccino from Black Friday. This is actually from like maybe a few months ago, but I've been meaning to show it in the video and I actually kind of wanted to make a video specifically donated, not donated, specifically a makeup bag from GlitzyGlam.com. And if you guys aren't familiar with Glitzy Glam, it's owned by Elle and Blair on YouTube. They have their own little website and I love everything on there. Everything is just like really nice pattern. You can get things like with your name on it with like, what's that called? Not with your name on it. It's called like, um, so I've been wanting to get a waffle weave makeup bag from there for like the longest, longest time. Like I asked for it for Christmas last year and I didn't ever get it. So I went ahead and bought it myself. And so here's my makeup bag. I got this because they were having like 20% off. So um, that saved me like on shipping, but it still cost me like $25, which I'm okay with because it has my name on it. And I got to personalize the color, the color of the letters and the ribbon. So this is what mine looks like. It's just brown and it says Megan. And then on the very side, it has a um, leopard or like cheetah print bow. Now, the other day, I went to American Eagle and I got a few things there. Um, the first thing I got at American Eagle is this bag. I've been wanting this bag for like the longest time. And it is just this really nice like duffel weekender bag. And it's so, so, so cute. Like I'm actually going to have to stand up and like show you guys the full view of it. But it's so pretty. It has like this little strap. And this is like really sturdy. Like these straps are like amazing. And it has so much room in the inside. And the pattern is just awesome. And this was actually 40% off because I think this was like $30. And I'll probably be carrying this next week um, or in a few days when I go out of town. And I will be having a what's in my makeup travel bag or what's in my travel makeup bag. And I will be having like what's in my actual bag video. So look forward to those, you guys. Um, but there's actually another bag I want to purchase. I want to purchase the one with the wheels. And that one was actually 40% off too. And I think that would have ended up being like $25, $26. But I'm actually going to wait until it's like 50% off. Because I have a feeling um, American Eagle is going to have 50% off pretty soon. So then I'll just get it then. Okay, another thing I got from American Eagle. Um, I actually got this one a few months ago. And it is just this bag. I haven't used this bag at all. This bag was $39.99. And then it was 50% off. So... I got this for 20 I love the pockets on the outside. Like, I love this. And then it also has a longer strap. Like, this is just, like, the perfect bag for me because I love wearing, like, satchel bags. And another great thing about this is you can actually turn it into a backpack. Um, you just have to re-hook the, like, little straps and stuff. Another bag I got, I've actually used this bag a few times, like a few dozen times because I love this. And I actually got this from Forever 21. And it's actually pretty good quality for Forever 21. It has like this really nice tribal um, pattern on the outside. And it's just like a little small satchel. It has a lot of room in the inside. And then on the outside, I also do have my little anti-bacterial, um, my pocket bacterial from um, Bath & Body Works. And this is actually in Cucumber Melon, which is hard to find. And I did find it at a store. So that's great. Um, and then it has like just the chain strap, which I, it's like intertwined with like the leather part and the chain. It's so cute. And then also has like this little fringe on the, on the very, um, little latch of the purse, which is awesome. So I really do like this bag. It's perfect for like work when I'm only going to bring like my wallet and my phone and like maybe like a little snack or something. It's perfect for work.
Okay, so lastly are these shoes that I got from Target, and I only paid $12 for these, and they're just like the little slipper moccasin things. These are the all black ones, um, and these were originally $19.99, and they're on sale for $12. So yeah, that's the end of my Black Friday haul slash other products, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Um, I'm going to be having a nail polish haul pretty soon. I wasn't included in this video, but this video would be super long if I included that. Click to see my latest video, products that I'm currently loving.